Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome to Let's Play Metal Slug 4. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the Metal Slug games are, uh, think Contra, but a lot more cartoony, and in my opinion, a lot better. Uh, yeah. Just keep on normal difficulty. Really, really great series with just beautiful animation. Four characters to choose from. Um, I usually go with Fio. For some reason, in the in this fourth one, uh, they brought two new characters, Trevor and Nadia, and took out uh, Tarma and Eri, who everyone seemed to like. I don't know why they did that, but we never see Trevor and Nadia ever again, so whatever. Anyways, yeah, it's pretty much a Contra game, uh, but with just beautiful animation, a lot of personality, really, really fun. I'm a big fan of the of the uh, Metal Slug games. Uh, I don't really know why I'm playing the fourth one. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's most people don't really like it. It. I don't know. Everyone seems to think it's one of the worst ones. I don't know why. I seem to really like it. Uh, I find Metal Slug Five's not super great. But you know, I'll play. I'll play them all. They're all great. Um, I was gonna play Metal Slug X. But the only version I have is for the original PlayStation, and it's it's not very good on the original PlayStation, I'll be honest. Now, I'm missing a lot of stuff up there, by the way. Um, if you look up the stuff up there, if I had kept some cars from blowing up, I'd be able to get them, but I haven't been doing that. Anyways, basic premise, if you can't tell already, it's a run-and-gun game. Uh, those, like, old men, they're... Um, they're prisoners of war, I guess, and if you save them, they can give you extra, like, you know, uh, weapons, that kind of thing. Not much to say in terms of explanations, I guess. Uh, though uh, there are some things I guess I'll explain when I get to them. That's, uh, that's Tarma right there. He's actually a playable character in pretty much all of the Metal Slug games. Uh, I don't know why they took him out of this one as a playable character. I'm fine with them adding new characters. But, I mean, don't take out old characters. Uh, by the way, I'm playing this on normal difficulty. I have no idea where that stands uh, in terms of the regular arcade difficulty. I'll, I assume it's, it's the same as the default arcade mode, but I have no idea. Oh, um, something I wanted to say, uh, my last Let's Play was Wario Land, and I had stated in the credits that the next game I was doing, um, was something I was super excited for, and I was, and I was excited for, uh, however, this is not the game I was planning on doing, um, the game I, I want to be doing, uh, something's happened that had to be delayed a little bit, not very much, I mean, that's why I'm playing a very short game, this will be done in like two episodes. Um, so this isn't the game I was talking about, but it's still a very good game. Again, I'm a big, a big fan of Metal Slug. Ah, uh, I didn't think I'd about that. Um, one of the things you might notice as I play, I like to duck while I shoot. The reason for that is because, um, you can actually skip frame animations. So it's actually faster to shoot, like, your regular gun when you're crouching. Damn it. Oh, I'll be prepared to see lots of deaths, by the way. Uh, Metal Slug games are arcade games, after all, and thus are made so that you're gonna waste lots of quarters. So there's gonna be lots of deaths. That being said, um, I'm okay at them. Um, when you get down to it, Metal Slug games are, are very much all about repetition. So, you play a Metal Slug game enough, you'll be able to beat it with no problem. Uh, I played this last night just to see if I could still play it, and I did miserably bad. Uh, that's okay. I think it's going to be fun to see if I can at least do better than I did last time. Uh, at 22 game overs, <laughs> which was awful. But whatever. Um, but the Metal Slug games, if you play them a lot, you can get really good at them. Um, I, for a little bit, um, way back in like 2005, I had, uh, some speedruns of Metal Slug X. Okay, let me get rid of this thing. 
uh, for, for the PlayStation that were pretty good. Ah, dang it. Oh, well. That's one game over. Oh, nice. I can get this thing. So, yeah, the more you play, definitely the better you get. Um, I first played Metal Slug. Uh, there was a bowling alley near my place when I was a kid that actually had... Um, they actually had the original Metal Slug. And I played it all the time. I loved it so much. I mean, it's it's just a gorgeous game. I mean, look at it. Especially for its time, which was like 96, by the way. And it had the same graphical style. Oh, damn it. It's a lot harder to play this game while you're talking out loud. There we go. Much better. Normally, I'd like to keep my grenades for the boss, but because I'm not super used to this one compared to Metal Slug X, I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive to get to the boss with all my grenades, so I, I tend to use them. Ah, uh, damn it. Whew. Definitely takes a lot out of your thumb, too. I love the way he says rocket launcher. Uh, a lot of people made the joke how it sounds like he's saying rocket lawn chair. Uh, there's a couple uh, uh, art, the, uh, a couple like fan art things that you can see. Uh, they have they've actually like drawn a rocket lawn chair. Hilarious. Two game overs. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna do very good. Ah, oh, damn it! Those stupid missiles. The enemy chaser, it's a fun weapon, but it's not nearly as powerful as some of the other weapons in the game. But in this situation, it's pretty good. But it sucks because you can't actually aim what you're, like, shooting at, so... There's a ton of different weapons in the uh, Metal Slug games, too. It's a lot of fun. There's just a lot to them. There we go. Whoa, that was close. Oh, freak. Sorry, I just had to concentrate there. Uh, I got the two-handed grenade, or uh, two-handed, uh, two machine guns. Really, really good. Machine gun's an awesome weapon to have. And you get a lot, too. Uh, having two of them just makes it even better. I mean, look how fast I'm able to take out stuff with this thing. Just mows down enemies. Oh, and this tank that I'm in right now is the uh, the titular Metal Slug. It's what the game is actually named after. You have a couple hits when you're in it, which is nice. You can also send it, uh, like launch, uh, launch the actual tank to do like this crazy powerful attack. Uh, I tend to not do it. Well, here it is. I'll show you. There you go. Love that. Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm doing... I did okay in that segment, so that was pretty good. Nice. There we go. Here's the boss for this level. Oh god, this boss is insane. And it's not that guy. I think his name is Alan. He's in most of the Metal Slug games. 
Uh, no, it's this boss here. It just takes for friggin' ever. It starts off easy enough, and then it just gets a lot more ridic- Ah, oh, see, there you go. A lot more ridiculous. But, every time you get a game over, you get a, a thing of heavy machine guns, so that's nice. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I just want to, like, lead the shots for a little... Now I'm not able to do that. Ugh. Stupid big ass gun. Uh, I find this to be one of the harder bosses, actually, to be honest. Uh, I'm really not paying attention to that big gun. Uh, the good thing is, is once you get that top part exploded, it, it's all down. Uh, you don't have to take care of the, the bottom one. Ugh, that was awful. Awful, awful, awful. <laughs> Um, so they're, um, I think this is the level. Yeah. This is a level that has, uh, actually from here on, all the levels have, um, branching paths. That being said, I don't want to go down. I want to, uh, keep going to the right. Shit. Oh, saw it coming too. Asshole. Uh, anyways, if you go down, you have to fight, uh, you actually have to fight yetis. Uh, I find it just takes too long. So I just like going up here instead. Oh my god, I'm really not doing good. Oh, there we go. Shotgun. I think the shotgun's my favorite. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> shotgun's my favorite weapon and I lost it and I'm dead. Oh my god, what the hell's wrong with me? I got the Iron Lizard. I'm actually not a fan of the Iron Lizard at all. But whatever. It is powerful. It's a good thing this is on the home console and not on the actual arcade, because I'd be doing really bad. Spending a lot of money. The worst part is, is there are some people out there who are pro- Oh, I can skip all this. I forgot about that. Uh, there's probably a lot of people out there who are looking at this and going, This is the same guy who has beaten Metal Slug 1 on a single quarter before. Yeah, it's it doesn't seem like I'd be able to, but I, I, I have done it before. Not this one, though. Apparently, I'm just awful at this one. I love how that log's just taking care of everything for me. That's nice. Uh, I think I'm at the boss already. If you go down, there's a vertical segment, and I really hated it. Okay, there we go. Frig. Um, the guy in the tank, he's the main villain of the series. His name is Morden. Uh, weird fact, um, I found this out a little while ago. According to, like, his bio, he was born in New Brunswick, Canada, which is actually where, uh, I'm from. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm not dead yet. But I've got no weapon left. Ah, oh, damn it, I landed right on that too. Doing pretty good up to that point. Yeah, oh, I was so close to dead too. Oh well. And there he goes, there's Morden. Asshole. Alright, and with that, hey, we're halfway done the game, believe it or not. You know, there's only six levels. It is an arcade game, after all. So, hey, I'm Phil the Blanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time for probably the last episode of Let's Play Metal Slug 4. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, check out my other content on my YouTube channel where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya!